Hey guys, so just back with another video here. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to get ready for the new Jedi Survivor game coming out. Uh, it should be coming out this Friday, I believe. Um, so you can see here that uh, even with an EA Play discount that I get through the Xbox Game Pass at 10%, the game's still 80 bucks, at least where I am. 90 bucks full price. Or you can at least pay the Play Pro for 20 bucks and then if you beat it within a month, then you've only paid the 20 bucks for it. That's the route that I'm personally going to be taking. So I'll just show you how to set up EA Play here. So you're going to want to go to your Discover app and then search for an app called Bottles. Um, you can see I already have it installed here, but you would just click install, do all that. And then we are also going to install a program called Flat Seal. Uh, again, I have this installed already, so um, and this is going to allow us to give apps specific permissions um, so we can give the EA app specific permissions to access the files and uh, your SD card and everything like that. So we can control that and your other apps, not just the EA app and bottles through this. Um, but anyway, so yeah, once you have both those downloaded, you're going to go to bottles. And the first time it uh, loads, it might take a little bit to kind of set up everything, uh, but it shouldn't take too long. So you can see here I already have my library set up, <clears throat> or my uh, virtual system. So I have it running the Syswine 8 uh, runner, and you can see here these are the things that I have installed through it. So I've got GOG, uh, EA Launcher, Epic Games. Um, these are the ones I've tried so far, and they work under this. And then here's the games that I have installed underneath of them. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to set it up from scratch here. So first, if you want to change your uh, runners and stuff, click on the top hamburger menu here, preferences, and then runners here. So this is where you can download, uh, want your wine versions, your G Proton, whatever. So I've played around with the G Proton. So they have up to 53 in here, but I think they have 55 out now. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is where you get all the components for that. Um, so it comes pre-built with the soda and the cis wine. Um, G wine I've tried, uh, couldn't get that one to work. G proton's fairly stable as well. Um, but anyway, you can just stay with the cis wine as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new bottle here. So I called that one games. Um, I'm just going to call this test. So in here, you can just click gaming if you want, <clears throat> or you can click custom, and this is where your custom runners are. So I had my original one set for syswine, so I'll just do syswine as well, and this one's already pre-installed. And then you just hit create. Okay, so after about a minute or so, uh, your bottle will be created, and you can just close that, and then you can go into it. And then from there, you can change your settings and all that stuff too. Um, so if you go into settings, you can change the runner from here as well, uh, if you want. Just keep in mind, um, <clears throat> you can change it individually for the programs as well. Just keep in mind if you change over to like GE Proton or something like that, it'll create a new file so your save may not transfer over if there's no cloud saves for whatever you're playing. Just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so you can change on <clears throat> DXVK, uh, VKD3D, all that stuff. And yeah, there's some other stuff here that you may or may not need. I personally have not touched too much on there. Uh, all you really have to do with this though is just go install programs. You can see here that these are the programs that they've got preset up. Um, you can do custom installers as well. Uh, but honestly, they have everything I need. They have the Ubisoft, they have Origin, which is gone now. They have a uh, Galaxy, uh, Epic Games, EA Launcher, Blizzard. That's all I really need. So before we install the EA app here, we're going to go into our Flat Seal app. Uh, there you go, Flat Seal. Uh, go to Bottles, and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down to File System. I have all these checked off, don't do that. Just check off all user files here at the bottom. And then if you have an SD card, you can click Add here, um, and then type slash run, oops, 
sorry, you would type slash run slash media in there, like I've done down there, and then that'll give you access to the SD card as well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we'll just go download EA Launcher, start install, and again, this is going to download some of the dependencies and stuff the first time you do it, so it might take a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. So it might take a little bit longer to do. So it took about uh, two, three minutes or so there to do the initial dependency install. So you can customize your setup or you can just do let's go. I'll just do the let's go. And then it shouldn't take too long to install from here. Now I'm back in my uh, first bottle here. So once you have the EA client installed, you just start it through here. Uh, mine's already started, so now you can see here it's just like the regular EA client. You have access to your EA Play if you're a Game Pass subscriber, or a Game Pass Ultimate, sorry. Um, and you can also subscribe to EA Play Pro, which for me is 20 bucks a month. It'll give you access to all the EA games, first party titles, day one, so your Jedi Survivor, uh, that Eternals, like Wild Heart, Eternals, Varium some new game that just announced coming out um yeah so that's how you get this all installed here you can see that i've installed star wars jedi already um but yeah if you want to install something it's honestly dead simple uh give anthem a go here um so yeah you can just use your internal storage here so if you want to change that it's faked under a windows sub sub, sub file system sorry um, so that's your C drive. So that's your internal drive here. For me, my D drive is my SD card. So that's where I can install and have installed the Jedi Fallen Order there. Yeah, we'll uh, just launch up Jedi Fallen Order here. Alright, we're all loaded in here, to the main menu at least. Shouldn't take too long to get going. Uh, it is installed on the SD card, so it'll give you an idea of some load times here for you. I think it defaults everything to high when you boot everything up for the first time. Uh, yeah, there we go. And they don't have a low. Um, there is some INI files you can change to get to a low. Uh, I won't bother doing that here though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Um, just another quality of life thing. Uh, if you want to add it to your Steam. If you want to add it to your Steam, sorry. Uh, all you have to do is click the little dots menu there, and then just click Add to Steam. Um, clicking Add to Library will bring it back over to the library here. I don't really add anything in here. I just add it all directly through Steam. Um, now, sometimes, uh, especially with the GOG client, I find, if you install the program, it won't always add it to the uh, programs list here. So if you want to add a program or add a shortcut to it, they will be in, <coughs> sorry, home dot bar. Um, order to see that, you'll have to change your settings, um, options, show hidden files. Uh, for me, it wouldn't show it first I had to specifically do that for this app once you have that it'll be in here app uh, com dot bottles data bottles bottles games drive C and then here's your kind of fake Windows environment so the GOG installs to x86 I believe uh, GOG games so what's your three wild hunt um, and then you would find the launcher so for Witcher Wild Hunt, it would be Witcher3.exe, and then you would just click Add That, 
but I've already added that you can see, but then it'll make the shortcut there. You can rename them as well from here, because um, sometimes it'll add as the file system uh, directory. So you can rename that before you add it into Steam, or you can add it into Steam and then rename it from there, however you see fit. But yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps up this one, guys. Uh, let me know if you have other ways of doing it, if you found compatibility issues or anything like that, but this is kind of the easiest way I've found to do it consistently all in one app for all of my third-party launchers. That was kind of the key for me. I know there's Lutris and Heroic Game launchers, uh, but specifically, I just wanted everything all in one location, and for me, this is what works for me. Lutris, I know you can do the same, but Lutris wouldn't work with EA for me specifically. Um, so yeah, uh, just let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.